Oh, hey folks, here I am in Heidi's kitchen risking life and limb gluing magnets into another Deadpool mask. And I like to do it here because I'm going to use the exhaust fan to pull away the fumes. There's over 60 magnets inside these helmets and I just find eventually the fumes from the glue gets to me. But that's not the purpose of today's uh, video. Today's video is about sharing with you uh, to be cautious when you're scaling your mask larger, you're also scaling the hole for the magnets end up being larger and deeper. And it's the deeper portion that's of more concern to me. Today, I'm gonna to share three possibilities to resolve that. And the reason why you want to resolve it is because if the magnets are recessed in either part, they will not adhere as well together as if the magnets are actually touching each other. So it'll be easier for the pieces to fall out of place. So the very first method would be to make the depth of the bore less deep. That would be the number one method. But unfortunately, I don't know how to do that yet on this type of model. So the alternative is that you can print spacers. And that's what I'm gonna do in the situation with this mask that I'm currently assembling here, is I've actually, in Maker World, I've gone and I've drawn up the spacers and I've printed 70 little spacers. You probably can't see that, but I'll, uh, I'll zoom in on it so that you're able to see it. It's a pretty small spacer, but it fits in beautifully and it fills the gap of the space. I'll put a drop of super glue in there, then I'll put the spacer in, then I'll put the magnet in. That's method number two. Method number three, if you've already placed your magnets inside and you're finding that it is weak, it does not hold the pieces in place well, which is the case with this uh, mask that I printed. I went to the hardware store and I bought some little metal washers. You have to make sure that you're not buying stainless, that you buy something that has uh, steel in it so that the magnets will adhere. And then you go and you add those to the top of the magnet with a drop of crazy glue to keep them in place and that will help you to have greater adhesion on your pieces greater adhesion greater magnetic forces will be in place on each of your uh, mass if you want to use the method that i use for inserting magnets and not getting glue on your hands then watch this video next